Hello, I'm Laura McCarry at The Hidden Edge with another tea break tip on how to use business models and tools to help you manage your growing business. Today, we're looking at the Three Horizons model. Thinking in Three Horizons encourages you to go beyond the usual focus on fixing the problems that you have in the present. It's an approach that connects the present with the desired futures and also identifies some of the disruptions that might occur in moving towards your future vision. It first emerged in the late 90s through the work of uh, Baghai, Coley and White and has since been developed by a number of uh, practitioners, including Curry, Curry and Hodgson. So let's have a look at the model itself. The purpose of the model is to encourage you to think about the future of your business and to recognize signals about that future in the present. It is unusual as a thinking tool in that neither the dominant view of the present nor the emerging view of the future is privileged. It also recognizes the transition space between where viewpoints, values and assumptions are tested. The diagram models three separate horizons of growth with time along the X axis and fit for purpose or strategic fit along the Y. To use the three horizons approach, you can work through a number of steps. Gather your trusted advisors. Think about the issues and environmental factors that your, your business is facing right now. Record your thoughts on post-it notes and a large piece of paper split into the three time horizons. The first horizon is explored to understand what is broken now, but also to identify what is worth keeping from the present. Then turn your attention to the third horizon to uncover the evidence of the future in what is the now, which will help elucidate what the third horizon, the hopeful future, could become. Now look at horizon two and think about what issues might arise for you as you move towards your desired future state. Record all of these results. Look back across the three horizons you have filled in and think about what might be happening in the present that could move you forward towards your desired future state. What signals are there in what you are doing now so that you can start to make changes? Record those findings. And finally, check your findings against existing strategies or plans that you have in your business. Rethink, redevelop the action plan based on the issues raised by your desired future direction. Here's some focus questions to get you started. Where does resistance to change exist within the system that you're working at the moment? What is broken now? What's worth keeping from the present? Where is the evidence of the future in the now? What is the hopeful future? How do we bridge the fact paradigms? These three horizons help you to create clear and simple objectives, which are then understood by everyone in and around your business. It allows us to analyze where we are now, forecast where we are heading, set some visions and objectives of where we want to be, plan how we are going to get there, and who will be involved and when, and then what we will need to do to monitor it. The Three Horizons model is often described in management literature as a structure for, access, for assessing potential opportunities for growth within an organisation. But it can also be used for linking future thinkings to processes of change. By using the Three Horizons as an analytical tool for understanding how change could happen, the model offers a holistic view of the present moment, the preferred future, and how we might facilitate movement from one to the other. In other words, where we are now, where we might be, and how we might get there. Have a go. Download the templates from the Hidden Edge website, and whilst you're there, do share your stories for my portfolio of case studies that helps share with other people. So until next tea break time, enjoy.
the rest of this one.